Does registering multicolor jobs have you pulling your hair out? Screen printing registration doesn't have to be a nightmare. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it. Registration is something that everybody struggles with when they're starting out in screen printing. I know I struggled with it when I first started. I stuck a screen into the wall like a damn throwing star on my first few days screen printing because I could not figure out the registration and I just kept burning through test shirts. Fortunately, you can save yourself from this level of frustration with this super easy registration tip. This is something that's been around for years but is by far the best way that I've found to register prints super precisely with very little time and very little material waste. This works on every single type of print and it works works on manual and auto presses. Now before we start, I wanna tell you what I don't want you to do. And what I don't want you to do is to register to films. This is a method that some people teach and I just don't think this method is right. And it's not right for a few reasons. The first is that this method does not account for stencil drag. If you don't know what stencil drag is, to put it in layman's terms, it's when the screen mesh is stretching one way or another as you push or pull your squeegee. This is more common on manual presses that have lots of deflection or with lower tension screens, but this can also happen on autos with high tension screens as well, just not quite as much. So you may think you've got your screen perfectly registered because it lines up with this film, but when you put your first print down, it's actually gonna shift either higher or lower depending on if you push or pull your squeegee. And the other reason is that this film is much thinner than a shirt. So that means your off contact is gonna be much higher than it would be if an actual shirt was on your platen. And believe it or not, this slight variance will play a part in registration. It'll end up being a little bit off one way or another. So when registering to films like this, the likelihood of having to make a bunch of adjustments when you're finished is very high. And in my opinion, this is just a big waste of time. The best way to register by far is to an actual print. This accounts for stencil drag, off contact, your squeegee technique, basically everything because you're simulating the final product. So you're gonna start by loading up a junk test shirt like this one, and you're either gonna print your underbase first if you're on dark shirts or whatever color has the largest print area if you're on light shirts. You'll also wanna ensure that your platen adhesive is fresh to make sure that the shirt doesn't move, that your registration marks don't shift around in any weird way. We're gonna do both light and dark today, but we're gonna start on the manual with a light shirt with a six color print, and since black, covers the most surface area and it gives us the best visual reference, we're gonna lay that one down first. With the black down, I'm gonna send it underneath the flash real quick and then I'm gonna grab my registration tape. This stuff is the real difference maker that everybody needs to have in their shop. It allows you to infinitely test print every single color until you get them 100% perfect without wasting a bunch of test shirts like a lot of shops do to get their registration right. This stuff is basically just clear decal transfer tape so you might already have it laying around your shop but if you don't, I link the stuff that I'm using here in the video description for you. Now that it's down, I'm gonna register my screens to that print, making tiny little movements on my micro registration knobs one at a time. Registration is a game of patience and it's not something that you wanna rush until you have experience under your belt. So just stick to simple, small calculated movements and your life is gonna be a lot easier. This one's looking pretty good, so I'm gonna toss some ink in this screen, put down a print and see where we're at. This one is a little bit off to me. To some, this might be okay, but we don't get down like that in this shop. I want minimal chokes, minimal traps, and 100% perfect registration every single time. So all I've gotta do is spray a little bit of press wash on it, wipe it off with a rag, and I'm ready to make adjustments and test print again. It's just that simple. That's what makes this method so good. So I've made all of my adjustments and my registration is now perfect for this color. So I'm just gonna spray it, wipe it, use the same piece of tape and repeat that process for every other color in my design. Once I've got them all dialed in, I can peel the tape off and print the finished piece.
Some people will do a similar method by covering their print with packing tape, thinking it'll be cheaper. This does work, however, time is money in this business and that is not the move. It will take you 10 times longer to cover your print with a crap load of strips of packing tape versus one big strip of registration tape. Packing tape is also very glossy and smooth, which has a tendency to allow the ink to kind of bleed out a little bit, whereas the registration tape has a little bit of texture to it, so it gives the ink a little bit of something to grab onto for a clean print. This stuff overall is just a much smarter way to go. The rolls are huge, so the investment that you make in it will last you a very, very long time. This also carries over when you're ready to step up to a big automatic press like this one, and all the same rules apply. I am running a pre-registration system with something like this, and a lot of people on autos do, so there's a lot less messing around with micro-registration stuff, but I'm still using films with my screens. I don't have anything fancy like a CTS, so I have to rely on those films being perfect and my placement being perfect, and it's not always 100%. There is still some messing around to do. I've got my underbase down and flashed. We've got our tape laid over top. So I'm quickly just gonna throw a print over top of that tape. And back up the press real quick, see where we ended up. It looks like my registration is 100% perfect on this one. It honestly doesn't get any better than that. So let's print this badass artwork that we made for this client. This is one of my favorite screen printing tricks that I've learned over the years and one that I use in my shop every single day. So I hope this helps you out, makes your registration easier and makes your prints better. Everything I used here today is linked in the video description. So check that out if you wanna use any of it in your shop. Thank you guys for watching. Click the like button if this video helped you out. Subscribe for more screen printing tips. We'll see you again in the next one.